First off, to start off this podcast, I would like to say that we are now starting a foundation for my blind. <laughs> Any, hey, yo, anyone that fuck? would like to donate to the foundation, it would be greatly appreciated. Now. Then we're going to get a moment, moment of silence. I was about to do that for him. You're going to do a little... I don't even have it. Do we? Have it? <laughs> no, we don't have that. Uh, okay. Now, welcome back, everybody, <laughs> <laughs> to another episode of the Mixing Pot Podcast. I, I appreciate everyone listening to the disclaimer before the episode, but welcome back. We are here, back at it. Episode 85. No, 87. Damn. I was close. I'm Not getting good all. with the number, though. Not at all. 87, everybody. Get, let, let's, let's just give it up for 87. That's the clock. Yeah, oh fuck it man. fuck it we here we here guys 87 87 you know 87 reminds me 87 does not resonate with me at all in my life but you know what <laughs> we're here again with another episode chef Tariq, how you doing today buddy hi how are you different different color do rag i love it yeah, every yeah, every yeah. time you know, when when the braids are in you got to switch it up we're gonna start a like series on your do rag colors bro on like today's episode what yeah colors should, do you have? exactly like you should start hiding it it's, and then when we get on camera like reveal it like when when i put on when i start give a vote like this, every week when i start wearing the sweat this hoodies and stuff we can you gonna bring out the i can be like the tech the nike tech sweatsuits and shit no what I ain't got no money for no Nike tech. <laughs> not no. yet, not yet, not yet. I'm dead. But yeah, you know, I'm fine. How's everything? I've been all right. I've been all right. It was it was cool. It was cool. Um, Before we get into the weekends, we have to mention what we are sipping on this evening. So uh, yeah. we're sipping on some some olders, um, olders but newers. <laughs> um, I have Sunny D, Unleash the Power of the Sun with a little bit of Leckle and... uh. You sipping on dark and stormy over there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your first, favorite? First drink in a month. I went a whole month without drinking alcohol. So, cheers to me. But the, isn't it like Ash Wednesday this month? No. When is it? Ash Wednesday is the beginning of the year, right before Easter. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. I don't. I thought you had it. <laughs> When's Lent? That's the same thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Lent yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Start. Bro, I didn't go to CCD, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Said September, I, I, guess I did so. no alcohol. I completed it pretty easy. October, I'm doing no sleeps now, so. What is this? Are you just doing, a, a like, a special challenge? Like, these are, like, video game challenges that you're trying to accomplish or some shit? Technically. It's like, side missions, yeah, side trying, quests? You no, know, just trying to feel a little better, that's all. You, you know? gotta get the get the side quests in so you can level up. Yeah, you me? know, I, I got a cruise in a month, so, you know, I'm trying to make sure my body feels right for the cruise, that's all. Exactly. That's gonna and be a nice cruise. Holiday season, you know, like... Holiday season, holiday, bitch! Holiday season! <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's just trying to get right for the, for the holidays, that's all. No, that's those all are the is. best two. Those are two great tags. So, holiday season, bitch! Holiday, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, well, first drink of the month. Cheers it up now. Wait, is this? No, oh, this is orange and strawberry. This is not tangy, but you know we're gonna go the route. We're gonna we're gonna see how it goes today, guys. Yeah, it'll do. <laughs> it will suffice. That'll do. But um, anyway, before we get, before we that'll do, donkey. That'll do. <laughs> um, before we get started, <laughs> let's go over um, the weekend. How was your weekend? Let's start off with you because I know you had a jam-packed weekend. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, today, I actually got uh, a cortisone shot in my wrist. Okay, my we're, we're that really that just starting food. off like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. People know, you know, right now my wrist is a little sore, a little swollen, you know. Uh, been, you know I had some pain in it, but, you know, it should be gone in a few days. But, yeah, you know. I've had cord, corvain tendonitis, basically, or whatever is, however you pronounce it, basically. Mm -hmm. but it's literally just the tendon that's just messed up. Uh, so I got the cortisone shot today. Uh, hopefully it takes and it's just gone and I got to worry about it no more. Uh, they was like, you know, if it comes back and you're still feeling pain, you know, you can do it in another three months. It was like, you know, if after that, if it's still lingering on, it's still there, like 
surgery might have to happen. But you know, Jeez. they was like, that's kind of like, they was like, that's far out. So mm. know, we'll worry about it when we get, if we have to get there. But would you ever, okay, let me, let me ask you this. Now, this is a far fetched question, but stick with me. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Would you ever, if you had the ability to sit, let's say they say, yo, listen, we going to have to fucking give you a whole motherfucking new hand, nigga. We're gonna chop your shit off because that shit spread well, ev- to every fucking. They, they ligament. would have to cut it that to like shit, right here. That at least. shit spread to every ligament in your hand. It's deteriorated. You look like you deserve to be in a fucking thriller scene. My whole hand. <laughs> so your whole hand gotta go, and they come to you with the new cybernetic. Would you? Would you fuck with that? Would you? Would you? Would you be open to getting? A cybernetic limb, arm, like leg, something like that. On some cyberpunk 2099, I mean, 2077 I like, shit. I mean, I need my hand for work. So, I mean, I would have to. Like, I would need to. I need my hand. I cook. Like, so you I would, do, you would, you would get the cybernetic shit. I mean, it might would have to do on like, some Anakin Skywalker shit. Your shit it, would be robotic. It would be like that ass. That should be lit. <laughs> That's lit. That's lit. I mean, I would have. I, I mean, I need my hand. So. Get some titanium shit. But vibe. it wasn't. It wouldn't like they just cut the hand. Like they literally would have to cut like the forearm, basically. Like, Damn. So you getting the whole fucking jaw to cut, the like, forearm? I, they probably would have cut. Nah, this you whole, might as well get the whole the arm. Whole arm <laughs> just I'll fucking some, sacrifice cyborg like, at that, that ass. point. Like I get the titanium. I'd get the fucking what they give Bucky. I'm about to say, I, well, I, it look like the Bucky. Like shit. Fuck it. Give me the vibranium shit, bro. <laughs> I'm on it. I I would uh, at least you're open to it, you know. I would get cybernetic point, something. At that point, I might have to become like a, a villain. Like I got the arm already. Like they had to cut my arm off. Like I would have to become like a villain or something. I I would just like to just scare kids with the <laughs> my story. Literally, <laughs> be like, cut my arm. If you don't off. brush your teeth, this is what will happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I didn't listen to my parents. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> On some shit. But yeah, but, no, but what I, mean, else? I mean, everything should be fine for the most part. They said like you know by Saturday it should be straight, which is which is good because I have my event on Saturday, a breast cancer dinner that I'm serving, uh, sixty five people, which should be pretty easy, pretty light. Um, that should be pretty good. But we just filmed the pilot for mixing it up with Chef Tweet this week. Yeah, me and Young DJ Young Miles went up to New York. Everything was cool, nice, fine and dandy. Uh, the drive was pretty straight. It was like, it was kind of in like Long Island, like Queens area, basically, where the studio was at. This shit about the premiere on Stars. I wish. Shit crazy. Right it's after Pussy Valley. It's That's gonna, crazy. That'd be, <laughs> hey, that'd be prime time. Uh, like, with your ligament. With your ligament. Yeah, yeah. Let's just do that. <laughs> don't don't hurt my arm now. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, but no, it's gonna be on Eat This TV Network. You know, download Eat This TV. You know, it's gonna be great. Can't wait for the episode to come out. You know, shout out to the camera crew. The camera crew is rocking with us. I'm gonna give y'all a snippet right now. So I did wings. I did four flavors. I did Golden Fever. I did the Cajun rub, Cajun Dry Rub. I did the Lime and Salt, mm-hmm. and I did Maple Sriracha. You know, we did everything like we normally did the show. Young Nas plays some music, introduce me on. Mm-hmm. I do my little dance. He do a little dance. He made fun of me for it. It was great. Everything they were they loved. What were what song were y'all dancing to? Uh, we, I mean, we had we couldn't have copyrighted music, so we had a bunch of instrumentals basically. So you know, that's lit. That's good. Yeah, exactly. that's smart. It, it it worked out perfectly. But you know, we're going with the wings. And, you know, like it's just how we do it on Mixing Up with Chef Trick, If you remember, you know, we're back and forth. We're talking. I'm cooking everything. But I'm talking about wings, and I'm asking Nazay, like, yeah, you know, do you like your wings, you know, extra crispy fried, or you like it well done? And he's like, you know, I don't really, you know, I don't really have a preference, you know, I like it just nice, my wings, you know, crispy and stuff. All right, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, um, I know this is going to be some nutty shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nas. This man, so I go, are you a drums guy or are you a flat guy? Because, you know, everyone's really been going crazy over it, like. I'm like, I was like, yo, like, when you are in flats from a restaurant, you know, you're messing up the counts and everything, this and that, you know, explaining it. And I was just like, yeah, no, nah, I don't really have a preference. Because, you know, I don't really, I don't really discriminate. I'm wing sexual. Bro, did they all start screaming? Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> they, but they just let we just were rolling. I said, "You're what?" And you know, it's cameras. It's the magic of TV and stuff. But I'm like, "You're what? You're wing cues?" Yeah, I'm wing sexual. I said, "He's wing sexual. He does not discriminate, ladies and gentlemen." <laughs> I said, "Oh my God!" I said, is, "Why did you this say kid is that?" Made for TV. <laughs> that was his big break right there. <laughs> Fifteen minutes of fame. That was it. So I'm I'm wing sexual. Yo, he should quote that shit. He should Bro. copyright that shit. No, I was scre- I was screaming. No, the no the funny part that had the camera people rolling. So I had like they had the uh, induction burners, and you know like. The portable ones kind of suck. You mm-hmm. take forever to With the tanks and shit, yeah. But the ones that we... This man in the said studio, wing sexual, bro. The that ones that be in the, studio, the studios and, and like school and stuff, them suck as crank. Mm-hmm. So you know how they get hot fast. So this it, one I'm trying to figure out how to use and everything. So I had a bunch of pots on just for the sauces. So I'm making the sauces while the wings are in the oven. I'm making the golden fever. Everything goes fine. I'm like, yeah, so this pot, this pan right here, we're going to make the maple sriracha. So I added it. I added in a sriracha. That pan was so hot that it like started See, smoking. smoking. And, searing. and you started choking. I started choking a little bit. But yo, the camera people, yo, the one dude was like right there next to me. He's it was literally like, was literally about to like cough his lungs out. I'm dead. The other dude grabbed the towel and was like, this the whole time while they're rolling. And we was like, all right. I was like, we'll right back. He goes, he said, all right, cut. Yo, the dude said, oh. <laughs> yo, dying. I was like, my fault, yo, my fault. He was, no, he was like, nah, you're good. He was like, he was like, yo, I'm always right here when something crazy happens when people are doing this stuff. He's like, yo, I'm always there. So I was, it was not. That's funny. crazy. But yeah, I know I, that shit will clear out a whole room though. When you got something hot like burning on a pot, bro, like that. Mm-hmm. It's just the spice will go into the air and that shit will clear it out. That shit is crazy. Exactly. But it was just like, it was crazy. And it was just funny in that moment because it was just like right then and there when it happened. Um, And he looked like, you can see our faces like, <laughs> we just like, oh, keep going, keep going. Like we're still rolling and That's stuff good. like that. But no, yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, Once it comes out, you know, we're going to put it on. We're going to blast everywhere on YouTube. It's going to be on their channel as well. Uh, that shit about to get picked up. Yeah, exactly. If it gets picked up for if a whole you got season, people laughing, bro, that's it. If it it's, if it gets picked up for a whole season, look, we gonna have a lot of different DJs on it. We have guest chefs. Oh right? yeah, we're gonna do a lot of different, a lot of things we do on mixing up with Chef Tariq. So you know, once it comes out, you know, help us out. Go watch it. Share it with everybody. Go crazy over it. Spread the love, and that's all we need. You know, eat this CV. Check that shit out. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but yeah, outside of that, you know, everything's been good. You know, I've been at Olivia's volleyball games. They've been doing their thing. They've been rocking, you know. Varsity, varsity. That girl should have been varsity from day one. No, she She's, they're like six and one right now. Shout out to Hope High School. Uh, they got a game tonight at Tollgate. So we'll see how that goes uh, after this. I'll get the call, hear how everything went. But yeah, you know, everything's been pretty good this week. Everyone's been Everybody's just doing their thing, getting ready for the cruise, getting ready for the holidays. That's all. So, yeah, that's, Damn, that holidays. was my week. Holidays are creeping up on us, ladies and gentlemen. We told you back in July, if you didn't shop, then you fucked. But I didn't shop either, so we're all in the same boat. Yeah, basically. So uh, We're in a recession. We're going into a recession, actually. Um, we're already in the recession. Yeah, pretty much. But, like, yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. All that good stuff. Anyway, my weekend. Uh, start off my weekend. We went out to go see some good old college friends, me and Josh. Um, we went to go see John, James, and Johnny. Shout out to the old CIA gang. Dang, James. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, John made us all some patalitos, which were really good. Um, <laughs> it was funny because he was like, yeah, what did you think? I was not cultured. And I was like, nah, I know you're cultured. But like. You just made those? You didn't make no rice or nothing, John? Like, I thought you were cultured, and he was like, fucking asshole. <laughs> that shit had me dying. Everybody was dying in the in the room. But, um, yeah, we seen got to catch up with some old college friends and stuff like that. Um, then, what, me and Shodi went to a paranormal circus. A paranormal circus? That shit had her shook, bro. Like, literally. I, I seen it. 
Josh told me about it, and I was just like, fuck it, we're going to go. So um, it was over in Rentham, and it was like literally in the parking lot of the outlets type shit. And um, we go in, and like it's like, it's literally like a circus, but like it had a creepy ass vibe to it. Like everything was dark and like dirty and like weird and shit like that. Everybody behind the counter like looked dead. Like they had like dead makeup on and shit. And um, the popcorn though, I don't know what the fuck they did with that popcorn, but that popcorn rice, babe, like that shit was fucking fire, bro. That, that I've never, I don't think I've ever had popcorn like that. I don't know what the fuck they was doing in there, but. They had some fire ass popcorn. We sat down, bro. Bro, I didn't know what to expect to be honest. Like, but it was it was just like your regular circus. No animals or anything like that. But it was just like had the creepy vibe, and there was a lot of like, um, I don't know what you call those people. The people that twirl in the air on the the um, I don't even know what it is like the fabric, the the silk. You know what I'm talking about? Those yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. And, like, there were people, like, the whippers. Yo, when they brought out the whips, bro, I swear to God, we got flashbacks of slavery. Because the way me and Kiana jumped at the same time when that whip cracked, bro, like, that <laughs> shit was crazy. I was not expecting that at all. Because he came out. I was like, what's in that man's hand? He said, Whoosh. I heard that shit. I said, whoa. You, you, you felt your ancestors. Dead ass. So we said, you, you ever seen that meme where Aang, like, goes back in time and sees all the avatars? <laughs> That's what happened. We heard the crack with the whip. And then. <laughs> Niggas seen all the slaves, bro. He's um, using them for a second. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what's it called? Nah, it was actually pretty good. It was different. It was different from your regular um, circus and everything like that. And um, other than that, like, just chilling. Just just vibing, man. Um, bro, this cat. Yeah, I'm watching him just go. Ape. Like, what is good with you, kid? It's the cat nipping that thing. <laughs> but yeah anyway <laughs> anyway but uh yeah the weekend was smooth it was it was a pretty good weekend i was driving everywhere but yeah it was cool nice. Couldn't, can't complain nothing crazy happened other than that um trying to think what else Yo, happened? Were, were, it was like two weeks ago but did you see like all the bulls that escaped from the circus? yeah in, over there in, in north Attleboro. Uh, yeah I, yeah um, bro that shit was crazy at emerald mall bro that was wild and then they said like they captured all of them besides one in that like in the next day. What happened to the one? I have no clue. Somebody ate <laughs> that, his ass. That what yo, there was videos of freaking bulls running through people's houses and freaking like in the neighborhood backyard, and shit. In the backyards. Yes. In fact, I'm like That's... I didn't see it, no videos <laughs> after they left from the actual like fair where they were at no i've seen like they were like running through like backyards and the woods because like, like how the fuck did they get down the highway then yo because they that was strict str where they were running to was straight highway i have no because i was like yo when they knocked when i seen them running i was like all right what the hell is going on but when i seen them knock down the fence and that woman like was literally falling out of the way i said oh this is real like these <laughs> these motherfuckers are leaving <laughs> Yo, they were on a mission and they were all together. Like they were like, "Nah, we're all gonna do this, bro." Together, they said it's time for a revolution. No, no bullshit. <laughs> and they were all bulls too, so it's like <laughs> they it's were not like no cows. Like you could just get in front of that bitch and try to scare it to stop. Like them suckers said, "Let's is, go now." Yeah, who's in our way, <laughs> bro? And it's like, what, bro? Like, what do you do? And how do yo me being an insurance now? It's just like, bro, the what kind of claim? What do I do in that clean? Like. <laughs> Yeah, Look. I was driving on the highway and a bull literally struck Crap. my car, bro, <laughs> and totaled my shit. I'll be like, like, you don't have bull insurance, bro. You're like, fucked, bro. You didn't get that. You didn't get that when we try to sell it to you. I'll so. be like, did you hit a deer? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> but um, yeah, that that's a crazy ass situation. There's been a lot of crazy shit going on in improv. The dude front that created Bajas died. Yeah, I seen. R.I.P. to him. Um, yeah. Bajas is like a, I guess, a Rhode Island staple. They're in Mass, too. I've seen them in Mass. A couple of places in Mass. Bajas is cool. It's cool. It's not all that. But yeah, I don't... I don't Kiana loves Bajas. <laughs> that was a huge sigh, too. Yeah. Like, nah, it's not that good, though. It's, yeah, it's straight. Um, shout out to him, though. I mean, RIP to him. Yeah, but shout out to him for his success on making Bajas and that yeah. Yeah, great, exactly. successful chain. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Speaking of that, let's just get all the all the deaths out the way lately. Uh, rest in peace to John May 
uh, Amos, who passed away. Uh, he actually passed away August 12th, but... John was, Amos? John Amos. Yeah, we were just talking about. Yes. That's his name. He, August what? He... <laughs> So it says. Why are we just now finding out? So it they, says they died name. August twentieth at the age of eighty four, but his death was announced October first by his by his son. His daughter shared an Instagram post saying without words at the learning. Uh, yeah, basically, the, it happened on the twenty first. I mean, that's his family. They kept it, and they kind of just wanted to keep it a secret for a little bit. Uh. Kind of crazy, but they said it was just basically heart failure, um, which is crazy. But if you remember John Amos, he was on Super he was on uh, Good Times. He's in Coming to America. Uh, he, he's in a bunch of movies and film and TV shows. So, uh, yeah, rest in peace to John Amos. Also, rest in peace to Pete Rose, one of the greatest baseball players ever to not be in the Hall of Fame for his gambling scandal. Uh, hopefully, he can get into the Hall of Fame. The Kembe Matumbo. The Kembe Matumbo, rest in peace. He was fifty eight. That's the young. Yes. That's it, young as hell. It's kind of crazy, like how how young he fifty eight when he passed on September thirtieth. What is it? A heart failure. Uh, brain cancer. Sheesh. That is wild. Um. Rob Schneider slammed for using. Oh, I guess he used it as a, a promo. Wow. He died, uh, Rob Schneider. I guess he used it in like a promo. He came up, whatever. Um, oh, where's it at? This right here. Yeah. Post his. He probably posted a picture of him. Oh, yeah. He probably just made a joke, made a joke and it didn't take well, basically. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, there's been a lot of deaths lately. Um, yeah. James Earl Jones passed away. Not too long ago, yeah. Passed away not too long ago as well. Uh, so it's been it's been kind of crazy. You man. know who's still ticking? And I don't want to say <clears throat> his name to jinx him or anything, but Morgan Freeman. I don't want to say his name to <laughs> jinx him, and he just says his name anyway. Morgan Freeman is kicking it. You know who's still alive? James Carter, one of our former presidents. Jimmy Carter? Jimmy Carter. James Carter. Jimmy he's Carter. 96, ain't he? No, he's 100. 100? Yes. Not our, Jimmy Carter. The, 30, the 39th president. Jimmy Carter Boulevard in Atlanta, Georgia. He's a, he's 100 years old. That He turned 100 yesterday. That's crazy. He, turned, he was in office from 1977 to 1981. He's a Georgia. That's another Georgia baby. Jimmy Carter. Yep, Georgia. Georgia. But yeah, that's that's just some of that stuff that's going on. Uh but let's get into something else crazy too. Uh yesterday, forty five thousand dock workers went went on strike for the first time in a decades. Get your toilet paper. Uh orga- organized laborers labored enjoys rising public support and has had the strange uh, recent victories in other industries. And they're not having it. Like they want better wages. Uh, it is. It has been crazy. Y'all seen how long that writer strike was, bro? Just imagine how long this dog strike finna be. Yeah, thirty six U.S. ports from Maine to Texas. Uh, literally all have gone on strike for wages and the use of automation. Um, how many ports are there in? Total? Yeah. Um, because if it's more than 36, then I think it's total. Uh, I, I think a lot of that's where a lot of them come from. How many ports? Let's see. How many ports in the U.S.? Oh, there's over 300. Yeah, we're good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there's over 300. I'm but, sure. I mean... I mean, but to have thirty six and I mean Texas is a big one, is a big what state. Is, what is three hundred divided by thirty six? Minus. You mean? Why would you divide it? Because 
No, it would be it would be it's minus the percentage. Oh, you're looking for the percentage of stocks, basically. Yeah. Let's. Uh, the three hundred. Let's see. Let's let's find out. Three hundred divided by thirty six eight. Started by three hundred. It's like twelve. It's like twelve percent of the docks are on strike. From U.S. to to Maine, the you Maine to Texas. Twelve percent out of a hundred. Are you are you striking? I mean, it's a big deal, especially. Oh no no no! I, I know it's a big deal because we're going to see some type of effect in some way, so somehow. But I don't think it's going to get to the effect of like COVID, where everybody was like really really shorted. I don't. I don't think it would be. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be that would be. I'll never forget that. I took a picture of that. I don't think it would be OD, but I mean, it's the first time, the first strike since 1977. Uh, it's mainly mainly on the east east coast for the most part. Um, oh, so we won't feel it. Yeah, so we'll we'll probably feel something. <laughs> we'll feel it. Dang. I mean, I think I mean, that's a lot of work too to move all of them like ports and trucks and everything that they do so i mean the fact that like they got to go on strike because they feel like they're not being paid for unfairly and stuff and forty five thousand people like that's still a lot how much are they making though like i feel like they're not making enough i have like those truck drivers and stuff so it's a, so it actually says that union open opening offers was for a 77 percent raise uh raise over the six-year life of the contract uh the president harold daggett said this is necessary to make up to make up for inflation in years of small raises ila members can make a base salary of eighty one thousand per year but some can pull over two hundred thousand annually and y'all want more <laughs> uh the li- the monday evening the alliance said it it had increased its offer by 50% raise and pledges limits of automation in places for old contracts. The Alliance can also said it's offered tripled employer contributions to rep- retirement plans and strengthened health care options. Base salary is $81,000. 81, $200,000. 200, Base salary, bro. I mean, that's before taxes, too. <laughs> Everybody's gonna go on strike at one point for something, and always want more money in a different department. So it's okay. Yeah, I mean we've se- well, I mean we've seen the UPS go on strike. We've seen Amazon too. There's, I've seen Amazon workers like going on strike lately yeah, too. Dirt, right? Yeah. So I mean, I mean, everyone's trying to get their fair share, and especially with the last few years, of, you know, coming off of COVID, coming off of how everything is just so expensive now, and freaking housing is like OD. So it's like. A lot of this stuff is coming up at the right time, you know. Again, it's, it goes back to you know we're going into a uh, election in thirty days, basically. So you know it's important to kind of see what's going on and how we can get things changed. That's so. I mean, I feel like it's happening, and it's like, damn, this is crazy. But hey, let's bring it to light right now while we're at it, so it can get thrown on top of wh- whoever comes into power. Like, what are you gonna do about this? So. So, I mean, that's just how it is right now. But you, you said you've seen people freaking going crazy over toilet paper. Yeah, because people, there was a, um, there was a video that I seen and it was people in Georgia. Uh, they were filling up gas, going crazy over gallons of gas for $10 a gallon, bro. Mm. It's bro. just like, damn, but that, that makes sense because where do we get our gas from? Overseas. Mm-hmm. Get our sit from the Middle East and shit. Everything's imported. We, when everyone's worried about the Diddy shit, uh, they signed the bill supposedly that we're going to be the number one importing country in the world instead of no more out exports. Mm-hmm. Like that's crazy, like super crazy. Yeah, China's our big homie, and Russia is not too far behind them. You got, you gotta see what's. We gotta make what to do. We owe them so much money. Look, they they gonna pay or we gonna pay? We spend the money to bring it in. Yep. Who who you voting for? You voting? 
Who you voting for? Okay. Well, they, well, they ain't no real independent, so. Well, you got thirty days. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the next topic. Uh, over the weekend, Hur- Hurricane Helene. Mm. Uh, as updated two hours ago, death ri- rise rose to one hundred and eighty-two. Uh, four hours ago, Kamala Harris uh, thanks officials for their efforts for the. She's going everywhere now because she's trying to get that vote. I'm, well, yeah, of course she. She, she is. Has to. Trump ain't going out there. Of course she's not. <laughs> uh, there's, as of 11 a.m. this morning, uh, 1.2 million people still without power in some s- southern states. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. They're saying it's the biggest. Hurricanes since Katrina. Did your power go out earlier today? Mm, not that I know of. Why? Hmm. Why you, your power went out? No, um, been getting like mad power outages from Cox in the in the area, and I had people at my job complaining about it in their areas too. I know. Uh, of, I know the Verizon was down on Monday. Mm-hmm. Uh, one one dude I was Ubering, he was like, "Yeah, my my phone's been down for like." Some hours or whatever. So, um, yeah. Uh, Biden also deploying one thousand active duty troops to support North Carolina North Carolina National Guard. Uh, Kamala's in Georgia right now as well. So yeah, I mean, hurricanes. I feel like are always scary. And I mean, we always talk about how we don't really get them. But the str- they're getting stronger and stronger because of. Global warming. Yeah, global warming. People are not pollution. paying attention. And the more we fuck up with our global warming, the stronger these things are going to happen, the more natural disasters that are going to come and destroy our fucking country. Y'all are worried about immigrants destroying it, bitch. The weather. The weather is very Do you ever important. notice why it fucking snows in fucking April and not in fucking December? Like, yeah. bitch. Read between the fucking lines. We are going to die if you keep littering. <laughs> that's all but i mean i mean <laughs> part of that is true like the cl- the climate the ozone like that stuff is all messed up right now like that Yo, when bill nye said you guys are not fucking kids anymore wake the fuck up you're destroying <laughs> the environment that shit resonated <laughs> <laughs> you all, 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 all the kids you woke up <laughs> 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 said out of all the kids you woke up <laughs> <laughs> I mean look man we gotta uh, let's let's see what's going on our freaking climate climate change right now like let's see the effects because I mean this stuff is that hole is big as hell in the ozone layer bro ozone layer is ridiculous I remember when they said yeah we gonna take like Fucking miles worth of hoses, and we're gonna put it into the atmosphere and just start spraying water, and hopefully that should just start floating and reform the ozone layer. I said, nigga, who the high ass came up with that idea, <laughs> and who the fuck listened? <laughs> that was sober, like literally. <laughs> they said, yeah, that's a great idea. You know what? That makes sense. Let's just spray water and fill the hole. <laughs> fucking idiots, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Who know? We don't know how to fix this. Like, bro, yeah, and like they keep talking about gas and carbon and everything, bro. Like, we're just destroying the earth, bro. But on one hand, gas has gone down a lot. Beep that, yo. Enjoy it while it lasts. Bro. I know, bro. Something about to happen. Whenever that shit dropped to back when it was like 2016, 2015 days, where you could just put 20 in the tank and that shit be like a quarter, almost like full. almost full, bro. Bro. What bro. now? It's back to those times. Something about to happen, bro. I'd be on like I can't. We can't even trust the gas prices, bro. I'd be on E. I'll put in like 20, 25, 30, and like it barely be at half right now, bro. I put in like thirty like that's yesterday, a, and it was like damn near full. I was like, you put bro. twenty now, that's half a tank down there, bro. I was like, let's go, like 
10 gallons. I'm basically good to go. Some, but remember, it wasn't that long ago when niggas was paying $5, bro. It was not that fucking long ago. When, when the price was <laughs> close to $4, I'd be stressed. Because remember, when we were out in Cali and they were talking about how prices was like $7 and stuff like that. It's like, bro, what? Mm. Oh, you know what I did this week too? Uh, so Cherie, shout out to Cherie. Uh, she was going to Connecticut this weekend, mm-hmm. and they done like they was like trying to get the rental and stuff because her car was she didn't want to drive her car, and you know how rental places are. They was just like, yeah, you know, two hundred and change, just and that. Oh, you gotta put this and this, and she was like stressed over over that. She's like, I don't know if I'm gonna go and this and that. Turo? I hooked her up with her. Don't tap me oh, up. Fuck. Just, yeah, just ligament, the, ligament. Head, head, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, yo, check out Toro. If y'all don't know what Toro is, Drew was telling us about it months ago when he did, when he was in Cali. And he was like, yo, it's a lot cheaper. It's better. All you got to do is just put in gas and it, you go anywhere, basically. So, I, would, bro, I told her, I told her about it. She canceled her, her rental, her rental car and got one of them, one from Toro. She said she paid like, she saved like, like a hundred dollars on it. I said, oh, I said, there you go. She said, thank you. I said, well, look, don't thank me. Thank Drew. Drew didn't want to put me on. But, you know, yes. I'll take some credit, too. I'm screaming. I'll take some credit, too. I put you on. He put me on. You know, we all in the same boat. Nah, that shit is, that that app is, like, <laughs> fucking clutch, for real. Because, like, mm-hmm. bro, they're definitely going to, if people start finding out more and more about Tarot, then people would definitely start um, canceling out on it. rentals and stuff like that. And rental companies would have a lot of competition yeah and like to be honest with you i think turo is the way to go anywhere you're gonna travel hopefully those motherfuckers go international soon so like you could just go ahead and get a car overseas type shit yeah i know i know my dad was talking about he's like he's he was thinking about trying to get a car and just put it not air just like that's just more income at the end of the day so you just gotta hope people don't mess it up but you know it is what it is, but oh, I mean, he was gonna put his car on Turo. No, not not I don't not his car, but I think he he was thinking about doing that, like just getting a car. Oh, buying put, one and putting it and putting it on there, and then everything yeah, like pays. He makes pays mad bread, all. like. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I don't know if if he's doing it or not, but I just heard him talk about it. But I was like, when we go in Chicago, I was like, yo, we're getting one of these because them joints were nice, and it was a bunch of like Jeeps and Teslas, and for cheap too. I'm just like for three days. I said, yeah. That's easy, because that's we insane. yeah because we got to drive to Indiana too while we're there so that's gonna be crazy. Um, but yeah, let's let's wrap it up with you know everyone well everyone's favorite because I ain't happy about it but Drew's picks for the NFL season. Right, we was doing last time. Not that one, but it, you know what I'm talking about that football theme song, the NFL on Fox one. No, NBC. NBC. What the fuck? NBC. I'd be high, y'all. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how many games you got right last week? I got four. No, you went three and two. Last week you're lying. You went three and two. You got the you, you lost. Last week you're lying. You, you you're lying because you said you, I don't know how you did this. Yeah, last be, week. Yeah, last week you were eight and two from la- from the two weeks you picked. Oh yeah, yeah, eight and two. Week That's week four. You went three and two. All right. So, so now, now you're eleven and four. Yeah. yeah. So you're me. eleven and four. You're losing still. I, we all went three and two this week. So you know I'm at five hundred. I'm at ten and ten. Don't worry, it's gonna even out. Damn. It's gonna even out. Don't worry. Ten and ten. Shit. He ain't getting shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The teams are selling me, man. I don't know. Uh, but you got the Giants wrong. You change your pick. I mean, I have to go with the Giants all the time. Uh, you got the Vikings, right? Wait, wait, wait. The Giants won? They lost. They lost? Yeah. Who was they playing? The Cowboys. Fuck. And you had the Cowboys, too, and then you Fuck. changed the pick, so. You didn't. Fuck, man. Uh, you got the Vikings right over the Packers. I knew that. You got the Ravens over the Bills, because Bills suck. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> you got the Dolphins wrong. Fuck, man. <laughs> and then you got the Lions right. So, I don't know what's what's gotten into you. I I think, <laughs> I I my theory is you know your your my theory is you're great in the in the regular season but postseason that's when you that's tank. when I shit yeah shit the bed yeah so okay. I'm hoping it's 
It's like that again. What's, what's my picks this week, baby? All right, here we go. Thursday <laughs> night football. <laughs> Thursday night football. We got the Buccaneers versus the Falcons. I'm going. I'm going Bucks because I was talking to my nigga Dami at work two days ago. And he told me that he doesn't like college ball, but he watches NFL. And I was like, all right, word, who's your favorite team? And he said, you know what? I go with the Bucks." And I said, why? And he was just like, because, bro, the way the Patriots did Tom Brady, bro, da 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 And I was like, you know what? I could appreciate that. that you know what? Look. Just because Dami told me that story this past weekend, I'm going with the Bucks. Okay. That nigga lying. <laughs> But okay. <laughs> uh, Jets versus Viking. This is in London, bro. This is that Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Uh, yo, so the uh, our OC is fucking trash, bro. Like he's just not it. Um, but we had a different offensive coordinator. Are you bro. talking about the Giants or the Jets? Jets. Jets. Do you know who your OC is? Yeah. Who's your OC? Bro, he was with fucking Rodgers since the fucking Packers, bro. Like, What's I know his name? His, I don't know his name right now. But Nathaniel like, Hackett. Yeah, I he, can't he, think of his fucking name. Was but Aaron Rodgers. I know who the fuck it is, bro. The fact that you said OC2 already tripped me out. Yeah, because you're like, whoa, this nigga knows football. This nigga did. He didn't say, <laughs> how you know offensive coordinator? Yeah, coordinators? bitch, I know. Nathaniel Hackett was, <laughs> <laughs> he was Aaron Rodgers' offensive coordinator in Green Bay. <laughs> Then he got the head coaching job in Denver, and he tried to get Aaron Rodgers there, and it didn't work. So he had Russell Wilson, and then he got fired because they sucked, and they realized you're a scam and a fraud. So he went to the Jets, and that was another reason why they went to get Aaron Rodgers, and that's how they got him, basically. Yeah, bro, like, he's trash, bro. Like, he, he is. Like, no bullshit. Yeah, he is. And, like, he's always forcing Rodgers to, like, force throws and shit like that instead <laughs> of hitting the open man, and it's fucking ridiculous, bro. So I'm definitely and, going to have to. And the Vikings have Sam Darnold, who played for the Jets, and he's having the best year of his life. That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> I'm definitely going Vikings on this one. I hate to say it. Sorry, Jet Jetty boys. And that's your and that's your Super Bowl pick, and you still ain't picking them. Mm-hmm. You you are you gonna get off that bandwagon at some point? Yeah, at some point. At some point. Okay. When we lose the OC. <laughs> uh, Dolphins Patriots. What did the Pats, uh, did the Dolphins win their last game? No, they lost Monday Night Football to the Titans. Fucking garbage. Did the Pats win their last game? No, we lost to San Francisco. But San Francisco is actually a good team, so. Fucking garbage. I'm going Pats, bro. I like it. I like it. We're home this week. We're back at home. I like our chances. We were actually favored in this game, so. I'm going Pats. I like it. I like it. Sunday Night Football, Cowboys Steelers. This is the rivalry right here. It's the this is the long this is that old head rivalry right there. Who, who you got now? I would say Cowboys, but I don't think they're gonna get this one. I think they're just gonna come in off this game off their high from the last game off the Giants. Mm-hmm. They're gonna think they're gonna be whooping ass, but then the Steelers are gonna come through and smack them. So I'm going Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay. Look at look at Andrew with some with some insight. He ain't watched the games, but he just he just know. I know. You just look at that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going for my last pick? You you gonna let her pick your last yeah, one? Yeah, she's gonna pick the last one. Say. No, <laughs> yo, give, yo, what are, who are the, hey, yo, what the Monday what? Night Football Saints versus Chiefs? That name is not. They're, they're no longer the Redskins. They're the Commanders. Because the Redskins was racist. <laughs> <laughs> the Redskins was racist. <laughs> the Commanders was racist. The Redskins was racist. <laughs> but it's crazy because Indians actually want them to be called the Redskins, Redskins. so they don't give a damn. I don't I don't think you do. <laughs> yep, yeah, Florida gets to keep the seven. Florida State, yeah. The Cleveland Indians changed to the Guardians as well. So, but the Chiefs are still the Chiefs. That's like making sense. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Saints versus Chiefs. You gonna pick his last? Who you got? Who you gonna pick? Who that? Who that? Who that say gonna right. beat them Saints? Or are you gonna pick the the Saints, defending champs? The New Orleans Saints or? You gonna lock that in? I trust her. 
<laughs> damn, I have most of my picks. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Same thing? Yeah, we got literally the first four the same. We both Plus. got the Bucks, both got the Vikings, Patriots, Steelers. It's just Saints and Chiefs, so. We either go oh, ligament, nigga. See, ligament. you was about to fuck up. You was about so, to fuck so up. So we either going four and one, or, or we gonna suck this week. Hey, we gonna see, bro. So you know what? I hopped on that Andrew bandwagon. Get your picks for him. And if he don't do well, that's just well, this stuff's on him. Blame him. That so. And also, guys, don't forget about the the blind foundation. You see how Titty's modeling it right now. Um, yeah. So. We're Gonna also be needing the donations next week before the leading up to the standings of the football games. So sweet. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what were we? <laughs> that's all I got for today. That is all that's, I got. That's all I got too. Um, you know, this is always fun. Um, episode eighty-seven. Great episode. Tune in next week for eight, episode eighty-eight. Um, make sure you keep it locked, loaded, and listening here on the Nixing Pop Podcast. Because if you're not listening to us, then what the hell are you listening to? Sure, you what you, your I did, I did. I'm sorry because you know what we have yes. some we have some breaking news in the MLB world as well because they're in the playoffs. Okay, why didn't you talk about the the home run dude, Shohei Otani? Yeah, you didn't even talk about. Him. Oh, well, it was a few weeks ago. But first of all, congratulations to Shohei Otani. Uh, for hitting 50 home runs and stealing 50 bases, first 50 50 club. Mm-hmm. He's, he's the great. He's he's literally becoming one of the greatest. And he's finally in the postseason. He's finally on a team that's in the playoffs. So that's a great thing. Uh, but it is MLB postseason right now. Uh, but the Detroit Tigers just swept the Houston Astros in, in the wild card. And Detroit is playing the Guardians in the alert, the AODS. And then the Royals just swept the Orioles. So the Royals play the Yankees the next. Okay. So this is some it's some pretty Baseball big upsets. Baseball season. It's some pretty big up, upset spit tech, basically. So this is kind of crazy. Uh, the National League. No, actually, so this happened, too. So with the Hurricane, uh, the Mets and the Braves played – the, like last week of the season, mm-hmm. but because of the hurricane, they had to reschedule two of their games. Mm-hmm. But they didn't. Both teams didn't have any more like off days because it's the end of the season. So they had to play a double header on Monday, and they were both tied, and the Diamondbacks were tied. So it was a three way tie. Mm-hmm. So for the last two wild card spots, so they played a double header on Monday. If either of them, the Mets or the Braves swept like won both games on Monday that team would got in and the Diamondbacks would have got in mm-hmm. if one of them if they split this the two game series on Monday they both just go in and Diamondbacks are out yeah. and that's exactly what happened on Monday so it was like a lot of crazy things that kind of just happened too with all that um so yeah it's it's post baseball postseason football is hot basketball you seen, did you is almost see here the, um Georgia Alabama game Bro, that game was that shit was fucking that game crazy. was ridiculous. I actually watched that entire game. Yeah, we were out there with James and them. Yo, that shit was wild because it was like, bro, touchdown. Thirteen seconds later, touchdown. I said, like Alabama was beating them, and I'm like, damn, this game is kind of trash right now. What the hell is going on with Georgia? <laughs> that shit was crazy. Nah, and they were they were going blow for blow for real though. And then like you know everyone's chucking that shit. Down everyone's the at the house, and I'm kind of watching the game. I'm, and while everyone's everyone's talking stuff, I'm kind of paying attention to the score, and I'm like, if they Georgia can kind of come back if yeah. they play this right in the second half, and then you start to see it. And Harold's like an Alabama fan, so he kind of like was staying quiet. He was like, "Oh no, like mm-hmm. we're about to blow this game." And then when they scored and took the lead, I said, "Oh <laughs> my god, this is about to be the biggest like choke job ever." And then literally like eight seconds later, bomb Alabama. called it. I said, "There's no way." That shit was crazy, and that you, you know that kid just turned eighteen. Yeah, I know they were. T- they kept talking about seventeen. It. That kid is nasty. I said, yeah, like, yeah, he's leading them to the whole championship. Yeah, that kid is nice. 
uh, it's oh also Tra- Travis Hunter. Mm-hmm. Look him. Have you? I don't know if you heard that name yet. Colorado. Yes. I know who Travis Hunter is. Yes. Best player in college, literally. Receiver and cornerback, mm-hmm. best player. Like he should be in the Heisman talks. And if he continues to play the way he does, and Colorado does what they do, who's the, who's Dion's other son on that team? Shador, not Shador. Oh, uh, Shiloh. Shiloh, yeah, yeah. Shiloh, he's a corner, right? He's a safety. He just has he just had surgery, so he's gonna be out for a while. Yeah. Uh, Shador is doing his thing too. Uh, they just he just needs that offensive line to block. That's it. Like, but they're starting to kind of like get the offense rolling more. Mm-hmm. So if their offense can like just they can, if they can just run the ball, like everything else will flow for them. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, that was yeah, that was yeah. College football was crazy this week. It was definitely I get like Georgia Alabama game was definitely wild. Gotcha. But yeah, this is a this is a great time to be a sports fan, ladies and gentlemen. It's base baseball postseason, WNBA postseason, uh, football is in is in the middle. Basketball is almost back. NBA is almost here. Freaking Mavericks about to take it all this year. Stop it, cut it out. Um, Who do you think is gonna take it? We take we're running it back. We're running it back. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Bro, Celtics are not taking it again. We're running it back. They're fucking drunk. Okay. I'll bet on that. Okay. I'll bet that you guys, you'll get, you'll see the playoffs. You need to get your fucking. Okay. Nah. Ligament, eh? <laughs> Ligament. <laughs> 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 oh, no, that's everything. Uh, Chefdruke.com on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, Chefdruke 401 on Facebook. Chefdruke on YouTube. The Mexican Pop Pod, a Mexican G Pop Pod on Instagram and TikTok. Check out all of our clips. Uh, Friday, 10, 11 a.m. on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. Um, make sure you guys download Ethos TV Network. Subscribe to them on YouTube. So once the pilot comes out, you guys will be right there. It'll be live, up and running. You guys will support. Shout out to everyone in advance. Um... And also, ladies and gentlemen, it is holiday season, so you know what that means. Thanksgiving is coming up. We're going to be feeding the homeless. Uh, Breast Cancer Walk is on October 20th. If you guys would like to join, come join us. Um, I'm also doing pre-meals as well this year. I'm going to throw out that flyer very soon. Get Put your pre-orders in now because you know what happens every year. Wait for what? Wait, what, what for are you talking about? I, I just blocked out. My fault. Pre pre Thanksgiving meals, you know, pans and mac and cheese. Oh and yeah, yeah. you doing the cookie box this year? For din- for dinner, uh, Christmas. I know. Yeah, for Christmas. Christmas. You doing yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing oatmeal raisin again? Of course. Why? Right. I'm so good. You doing the iced? No. Okay, bet. <laughs> I like them without the icing. No, because <laughs> we tried to do that last year. It didn't work. So, but yes, order your pre Thanksgiving meals from Chef Tariq, and also put in your cookie orders like in the back of your head. Because you know those are gonna be coming up right after pre Thanksgiving meals come out anyway too. So like, literally, so it's it's gonna be bang bang holiday season, bitch. Holiday season. That's the name of the episode. Holiday season, bitch. You gotta put bitch in there though. Oh, but I think we're just put the stars. I think I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna name it Bionic Arm. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got. Cybernetics. Cybernetic. Cybernetic arm. Yeah, that's all I got, Drew. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah. Keep it locked, keep it loaded here on the Mixing Pop Podcast. We shall see you next week here on the Mixing Pop Podcast. Peace. Peace. Peace.